Hello, my name is Raimundo Burgueño. My company is Handlebar 3D, and this is a demo of my latest VR studio. My VR studio was inspired by a lot of the California studios I got to work at. Um, this is a live video of me and VR. And as you can see, the, we have a uh, nice and high ceilings, uh, lights that run run lengthwise through the whole uh, environment. And um, in my VR studios, to uh, teleport around, you press the trigger and you point. And, and once you let go of the trigger, that's how you sort of uh, get to certain spots. But since we are using an HTC Vive, we actually have up to 15 feet of, if you have the right space, of walking around area. So um, as you can see here, I'm walking from one end of the, the from one wheel to the other. And the beauty about these uh, using 3D environments is that you could also have these like second levels and you're not just floating in space. You know, you have somewhere to feel uh, that you're standing on. And this really gives VR a great advantage in terms of design evaluation. My control station was inspired by the clay sculptors I saw work in these environments. You know, you don't need every tool in your hand always. It's good to kind of have a spot where you could move things around or select things, and then you could go back and focus on the car. So when you get into this control station, this ball automatically appears, and whenever you touch anything, it changes the color, or it activates a tool, or it changes an environment. Uh, the beauty about uh, V-Red is that they left their uh, software fairly open. So you, this is all done with V-Red 2017 and, uh, and just some Python scripting. There's no plugin or anything. As you can see, I activated my uh, rotation tool. And uh, this is one of the tools that once I, once I actually had it in my hand, it became so uh, valuable once I actually experienced it to be able to just stand there and stop at an angle you like and see the car quickly. It's uh, extremely beneficial. One of the most important aspects of my environment is that I bake in the textures. And this really gives you the illusion that where you're in is a real place because the lights and the shadows are all baked in. And there was millions and millions of uh, light samples calculated in it. But since uh, they're just textures, now that all the GPU is doing is, is putting them in space. And since the environment is static, it really gives you an, an illusion that uh, you're in a real environment. And even though the, the, the cost of the GPU are very minimal. And as you can see here, I use the same render engine to develop an HDRI. So that means that, that all the reflections are fairly accurate. And you can really get sort of lost in this VR scene because you don't get distracted by the fact that there's a random reflection in the car. Using simple switches, we could change the environment immediately. And here you can even see my studio getting reflected on the fender. And this really lets you forget that you're in a digital environment because there's nothing to distract you from the car. My VR experiences have been developed inside of the car design workflow. I, uh, all my tools and the shading and the environments, they're sort of tailor-made for that. And so tools like uh, this switch help out in the design process by being able to switch back and forth between a design change. And here we just see a very minimal front fascia change, but obviously you can make it so it's a full uh, wheelbase change, uh, a different package change. And, you know, it's really beneficial to compare them side by side like this. And it really gives you a sense of, of, if you like where this car's design direction is going, and you could stop it before any mill touches any clay. And even though this environment was made to look very pretty with all the paint and the reflection, sometimes that's not always the best way to evaluate a model. I have experience, I have five years experience as a CAD modeler, and I wanted to use my VR also as a way to really see the forms that, that I'm modeling. So, I purposely left this model a bit unrefined. So here in this corner, I don't like how I kind of, how, how that line, that hard line hits the fender and I could really see it with these types of shaders. And uh, this really starts changing VR from gimmick to some tangible results because you're really starting to understand the form that is in front of you in, in a 3D sense. <laughs> 
Here is a, a cross section shader. And as you can see, these lines are traveling through the car. And this is something that would never be able to be possible in real life. And when you see these lines, especially in 3D, how they change as they go through the length of the car, it really gives you a good sense of what that form is doing. So when you get out, you have a good uh, understanding of what's too full, what's too flat, what you want to change. And it, and it really becomes a very powerful tool. One of the problems I had to solve was how to actually get this VR experience from uh, the headset to the designer's desk. So I developed this internal camera that lets you document all the changes that you figured out in VR. Uh, a lot of times the changes get lost in translation. You know, um, it's hard to sort of get all the information in. So it's better to document it right when, it, when you're in there and uh, it's fresh in your head, all the changes that you want to make. So as you can see here, when I activate the tool, a frame shows up. And when you click on the trackpad, you'll see this frame sort of just get left in space. And what's happening is I'm basically taking pictures now. And here in this corner that I didn't like, I'll take multiple angles so that I have something to, to show my modeler and tell him what I want to change. Uh, designers can also use this as a way to get a certain viewpoint that they like uh, to maybe draw on top of. Or in marketing, if, um, if they like a certain angle with a certain uh, color, they could use this as a way to, to figure that out. And this is where it really starts changing the VR experience to something extremely valuable in the, de in the design workflow. Because now what's happening is the cycles are getting quicker, as in there's more changes quicker. You notice the changes earlier, and you could start making them before any mill touches a clay. And the beauty about v is that you could program everything. And you'll see here, right when I uh, hit the hotkey, I have a little countdown. <clears throat> And what happened right there was it found all those frames in space and it made a viewpoint for them. And then it categorized all these viewpoints to sort of uh, uh, have them all render out at once. So now all I have to do is press a hotkey and find uh, the designer's folder in the network and, and hit save. And now he has something that he could draw on top of and it really starts making a difference in terms of uh, the design process. If you would like to try out this environment for yourself, uh, it is it is available to download for free at my website, handlebar3d.com. There you could also find different tutorials and articles on how I approach VR and how I got this result in VRED. Uh, the only hardware you need is uh, an HTC Vive and, uh, and a computer with at least two video cards SLI together. Uh, if there's any questions, uh, feel free to email me at ray at handlebar3d.com.